Okay, hello everyone. So this is paper called Learning Without Forgetting. This is uh, in the context of continual learning. So we know that in continual learning problems, mostly the main issue is that uh, the model will suffer from catastrophic forgetting. So for example, if we have, let's say a model that can classify cats. So let's say this is output neurons. This is cat one this is cat two and this is the intermediate layers to input layers and let's say if you want to learn a new tox to classify dogs let's say we want to classify add more neuron or more label let's say this is dogs one and dogs two when we try in the neural networks uh, uh, the neural network will forget the old talks. So let's say the talks one is cat, the talks two is dogs. So uh, when we try to the dogs images, these neural networks will forget the cat's uh, performance, unless we also use the cat images along with dogs images. But this is not again continual learning because we just retrain from all the images that we have. So this is a way that use knowledge distillation to alleviate the forgetting and in, in, the, in the neural network. So let's see how this is works. And this is uh, the claims that uh, the proposed methodology is uh, much better compared to other uh, mainstream techniques. Let's say in fine-tuning, uh, the original task performance is bad because it's fine-tuning, it's tuned to the new tax. And then for duplicating and fine-tuning, it's quite slow and large for the testing and storage. And the future extraction, the new task performance is a medium. And joint training, it's training efficiency is low. Storage requirement large and requirement for perfuse stocks is also quite uh, problematic. But uh, in this learning without forgetting, it doesn't need uh, perfuse data. So let's say we have cats and dogs. We don't need uh, cats images. And then the storage is also quite good, medium and training and testing efficiency is quite fast and it also claimed that the new tax performance is best and original tax or previous tax let's say caps is also good so uh, how this is happening so okay before that let's see this is a good graphics uh, to to see what's happening in this problem so in original model let's say uh, in the original model, we have, let's say, M talks. Uh, let's say, for simplicity, we have only two talks. For here. for this case, let's say this is cats and this is dogs. And uh, to, let's say we want to classify an image of cat. Then the cat pass to these networks and then we only use this output neuron to get the labels of the cats, the classification of the cats. And then when we want to, let's say, classify dogs, we pass to image of the dogs, and we know that actually this is for dogs, so we only take this output uh, hat to get the label of the dogs. That's the original model. And then this, is, this representation is unchanged. And for the fine tuning, the wall weight here, the, the wall parameters is fine tuned which is uh, adjusted to the new tox, so to the, to the new ground truth, this one. This is multi-head output. And then in the future structure, this is a uh, freeze, but for the new tox ground truth, it is will be uh, twined. And then for the joint training, and this is joint between all tox and ground truth, which is using uh, what do you call that perfuse data? Let's see here. We, I need to double check. Yes, it needs a uh, perfuse data. So we will count, let's say, small number of perfuse data. But in this learning without forgetting, we do not need 
refuse it at all and only take advantage of the original images so yep. the original model and this is works by utilizing knowledge distillation so let's see what's happening in knowledge distillation uh, we can get let's say the logic of the previous performance tax and then we learn to do new tax so for this uh, the algorithm is like this uh, we start with the side parameters so in the neural networks uh, this uh, has side parameters and this model specifies three different parameters which is theta i, it is third, and then also to o, which is this is parameter for the odd task, and this is theta uh, new, this is for the new parameter for the new task, and uh, this is xn and yn, this is training data for the new task. Okay, and then uh, firstly we initialize CNN with the shared parameters and also, sorry, I will make it much more clear with the shared parameters and also with the parameters of the old talks, and then we get the uh, label based on the current training data. So we get the label of old talks using the images of the new talks. Once we record these new labels based on the current uh, images or current talks, uh, we also try to initialize new parameters for the new talks, which is the time. And then in, in training phase, we define the WO, which is the output from, from the new image talks using the parameters of the shared and also alt and then we also need to define yn which is the output of the new tux this is all tux output new tux output which only use the new images or the current images of the new task and then in the loss function we try to minimize the loss of the old uh, performance based on the output of the current model and then also try to minimize the loss of the new images and at the same time this is the regularization 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 this is uh, using weight decay so this actually just to make the model not too complex in terms of weight and much more simple so it can get much better regularization but I think uh, it needs to be uh, empirically justifi justified to see uh, to, to, to every data set okay so that's how this learning without forgetting works uh, the mind the mind uh, ideas and when we see the performance learning without forgetting provide much better result than the mainstream type of learning of course this is the basic things also the joint training and let's see uh, with previous methodologies in terms of comparison uh, okay i think this one this is learning uh sorry i think this is a uh, lfl lfl is less forgetting learning so this is less forgetting learning and when we check the performance here that uh, is also provide much better results in terms of this one this also quite good this is the previous method and this is the fine-tuning so this is the learning without forgetting this area the blue one and for this result is also i think provide much better result if you compare learning without forgetting uh, with other methodologies let's say we focus on the previous methodologies and yeah it's it's quite good let's say it can improve this is a two percent for the old tax this is 10 much better and for the new tax one so percent 
this is uh, also good for about 1% in in plus places to a 65 data set to VOC okay so that's all for the for this purpose thank you for watching